Hi and welcome to my channel. Today we are going to continue with the series Mega Game Like GTA Part 3. So before we start the tutorial, I want to say I'm really sorry for taking me uh, a while to make this video because I want to publish and make this video two days ago. But my computer crashed on me. So there was a really bad crash, so I have to format everything. So they take me almost two full days <laughs> to format, download, and install everything again. So, well, now it's done, so now we are back in business. But the good news is I don't lose anything because I have all my stuff because I like to always, or almost always, back up my project and personal gain to my external drive. So this way I don't lose nothing. So that is the really good news. So I would love to I make this the day before. So let's start the tutorial. So today we want to learn how to enter and exit a car. We want to create a blueprint so we can uh, use to all the car in the games. So it's gonna be a main blueprint for all the cars. So let's make it. So go to Unreal, and the first you notice, I modify a little the map. I delete all the people. Uh, also, I delete stuff I don't like it. Uh, also, I delete the cars in the street. I only left the uh, buildings, um, street, and uh, also the parked cars. So I want to delete later this uh, car because they only have the skeleton mess. I want to be all the car in the game be a blueprint. So for, for now, for a reference, I know where the car are. So they're going to put it like that. And also I put the player star right here. Why here? Because it's the edge of the town. And also we have the first house, our first house, and also our first garage or farm garage. So we can store all the cars inside. So let's make the car. So in the other video or tutorial they make people in YouTube, they told you to add input, uh, add features and content pack, and download the vehicle or vehicle events. That's okay, do it this way, but you don't really learn nothing. <laughs> and also, yeah, um, there's a lot of stuff we don't need for this game because GTA don't need all the advanced stuff and also they don't need a few stuff from here. So the better way to do it is make our own blueprint so we can learn in the process and also we only make the thing we really need. They wanna be a more easy blueprint uh, also, we know everything they are inside. So close this. They want to create the blueprint. So go to the content browser. Go right click. Go to blueprint class. Now you need to choose what class you want. So the actor is, is not an actor because you, you don't want to place it and spawn it. It's not a character because the character type of spawn, they're going to include the ability to walk around. We want to be a uh, Possess player, so it's a pound they can act they can be possessed and receive input from the controller the player controller so this is the best choose for the blueprint so it's gonna be pawn when I call cars blueprint for example so when I enter because we need to add a few things when I close cost strip we don't need it so when I add component when I be a skeleton mesh uh, I'm going to add a skeleton mesh because all the cars in the pack is the skeleton mesh. If it's a static mesh, you want to add a static mesh. mesh. So for me, it's a skeleton mesh. So we need, need to choose one. So I want to go to asset file, go to meshes, go to vehicles. I want to choose, uh, for, if for the game, or like the older game, you have to start from the bottom to the better stuff so it's better to use a low car not the best car in the in the game so 
we are in the barn already, so it's gonna look better if it's a la like kind of truck. So I wanna use D1. So go to cars, schedule to mesh, put it like here. So we have what well, we are first car. So we need a buck collision. So the player they can uh, overlap, they're gonna enter the car. So it's gonna be add component. They wanna be box collision. It's not right here. So box collision. So uh, also we need a camera. So when they possess the car, they wanna choose that camera. So it's gonna be a component, go camera. So we want to put it a little more far away, probably like that. You can put it inside if you want to third person, but for me it's gonna be outside for now. Later I wanna show you how to switch between. So it's gonna be like this maybe. Yeah, something like that. So in the box, we want to put a little more top, so here. So I want to deploy it, can be inside the car, you can open the door from the left and the right. So you wanna enter from here or from here. So I wanna be this a little more bigger. Something like that. So move this, so like that. So the problem with this is if he, the player is in the top on the hood, hood and is in the, inside the, the bed of the truck, they overlap in the box so they can still open the door. So that's not really good. So when I put this down a little bit, that is the best way so they can only collide here. So if I see inside, we can do nothing, so that's better here. So I put a little more bigger, like that. So now go to the bank graph, delete all this, we don't need it. So compile safe. So we need to click the box at the bin. So they want to be on component begin overlap. So in here, we we can use the equal stuff like I told you before, but we need a reference. So we can use a begin plane here, you can call the reference there, or doing here. I wanna use this one because it's more faster for the tutorial. So I'm gonna be other actor. Cast to DP character blueprint, the main blueprint. So I wanna promote these two variables so I can reference later. So like, like that. So now we can if we are uh, overlapping we want to call possess. The only way to call possess is go to first get the player controller. So here, get player controller, controller like that. What player controller? Number zero because it's the main player. So from here, call possess. No possess, possess like that. Connect this from here. And what pawn we want to possess this blueprint with this blueprint the car, so we need to call this self like that. So it does it. So compile and save. So we can, we need to put the blueprint here. So put it here. I want to put this looking for the street like that. Maybe look better like that. So I put play. So let's do it. So now, if we overlapping the door, they wanna possess the car right there. We have we can move it because we don't make the movement yet, but we are really possess the car. But now we can see these are a few errors. First, we can uh, we we see the player right outside, so we want to we can delete it because we need the player. So we need to hide it someplace. So that is the best way to hide it inside the car. So also, I don't want to overlapping uh, the box. I want to use a button to I can open the door. So let's do this first. So put outside. So we need an input. So in here, go to edit, go to project settings, go to input, and here add new input. I wanna call here interact I want to use E for enter maybe enter the car so I want to use D1 
And also, like everybody know, I like to use the gamepad for the Xbox. So I'm gonna go here, face, button, tap, like that. So close this. So we can use the other thing. We're gonna disconnect this first, like that. When I use later. So we we can use the uh, enable input and disable input, but I'm gonna show you a different way. So I can we can use the interact for a few things. It's gonna be more neat. If you learn something new. So compile and save. So go to the main blueprint for the character. So DP blueprints DP character blueprint, and here we need to call the interact. So call interact like that. So I want to use an event dispatcher. So I'm going to add new one. I'm going to call enter card, for example. I want to put it right here. So I'm going to see call like that. Why the target? Cell, because the target is the main character. So I'm going to be this one. So that's it. Compile and save. So go back again to the card blueprint. And here, they want to use from the reference, they want to bind enter card. They want to bind event to enter card, like that. So if we compile, we need an error because we need a custom event. So I'm going to create event. So custom event, like that. I want to call it enter card, like that. So compile and save. The arrow is go away. So when enter the car, I want to possess this car. Like that. Like that. But when we overlap it, we still call in this event. So I want to when they go and overlap, don't call this event at all. So they wanna put box collision. So I'm gonna be right click. Add the band or component and overlap. So I'm gonna be here. So I'm gonna copy this. Copy and paste. More faster. Like this. Of the actor. Because we need a difference. So in here they're gonna be unbind all the band from enter car. So disconnect everything from the enter card, so we compile and save. So now in here, they want to call enter card process, yeah, from here, where is it? we are inside, so I want to, they can go exit the car. So they're gonna be here, right click, they're gonna interact, like that, like that, yes. So when we press it, want to be, uh, yeah, we need the, um, the player, so reference, so we can uh, possess this player again. So they're going to here, possess, no, no, from here. So the player controller, so get player controller, player controller, right like this, a little messy here, so this, so player controller, possess, like that. So we want to possess this player now. Compile, save. So now if you want to play, if we, we overlapping, they don't do nothing, they want outside nothing. So here, if I press the button, they possess the card. They press it again, they unpossess. Possess and possess. Is it overlapping? Go out, go away. Then I can do nothing. So only when I overlapping. So and then X. No, so now we need to fix the player is outside. So let's move this. So for now, we want to uh, hide this player. So go to DP character. And here, I want to call something. They want to be possess. Event possessed, uh, we already created. 
are also unprocessed, like that. So this is a little different because they means it, we we possess this character. So in here, I want to the skeleton, the mess, be set visibility, visibility. Whoops. <laughs> okay. Oh my. So like that. Okay. So from here. So when we are possess the main player, the player blueprint, the character blueprint, I want to be visible. And when we are unpossess the player, if we are possessing another actor, I want to be invisible. So it's gonna be new visible to, to pause. So they're gonna be the mess like that. And also I don't want to collide with nothing. So with nothing. So it's gonna be um collapse collapse component, it's gonna be like this, get so in here they're gonna set physic. No, no, set uh, this. What do they call it? Um, uh, collision, yes, right there. Collision. Yeah, set collision. Oh my God. Collision. Enable. So, yeah. Copy and paste. We need both these. So, like that. So we are possessing, I want to, no collision. We are possessing, we want a collision. What collision? We need to check here what they have inside. So go here, you can see it's a pawn, so I can open this from the collision. They wanna say here, collision enable, query and physics. So we need to put the same here. So query, collision enable, query and physics, like that. So compile and save. So go play, let's try again. So we go here. So now if we go inside, they enter, they disappear. When I press again, out. Enter, out. So that's it. I hope you like the video. If you like the video, subscribe to my channel. And also, if you want to support me, you can go to my Patreon page. Um, if you want to talk with me directly, you can go to my Discord channel. And also you can support my game, I created a uh, Kickstarter, so go to my description uh, in my videos. So thank you for watching, see you to the next video. Bye bye.